Hello everyone, and welcome back to the latest Minty Reacts, and we are here for the second episode of I Am Not Okay With This. I absolutely love the first episode, I absolutely love the first episode. I am loving everything about this so far, and I am very excited to keep watching this series, and keep getting more and more angry and disappointed and aggravated with Netflix for canceling it. Just can't wait to join the club there. But hey, I'm already part of that club, The Glow, and I'm going to keep mentioning that because I'm still not over it, and I am still... Not okay with that. But either way, we're here for episode two. Love the show so far. And like I said in the first episode, I really like coming of age stories. Since it's also in the movie video I upload um, on Thursdays as well. For the recap, I really love uh, coming of age stories. And I really like it as well when coming of age stories use superpowers or like psychic powers to explain things as well with adolescent development. Because honestly, it's a good metaphor. It's a really good metaphor to do. That's why the X-Men have been so great for so long. Also on fact of the X-Men and the X-Men are just really cool anyway. By the way, let's get right into this episode, shall we? Episode two in three, two, one. Let's get going. Dear diary, happy fucking Friday. Fair enough. Hey, it's also Friday when this video goes up. So there we go. Happy Friday, everyone. <laughs> yeah. No one's gonna notice that. No one's gonna notice that at all. That's just what happens when you live in a shitty house with a shitty foundation. Stuff starts to crack. That's a metaphor, though. Foundation of a house that sends to a lot of cracks. That's a metaphor. However, you got it home last time. In exchange for sexual favors for strangers. Got it. Hilarious. <laughs> Good joke. Good joke. <laughs> nice. I love that joke. That was a good joke. Good joke. <laughs> Oh god. The awkwardness is palpable. Love it. Absolutely love it. Some people are already asking dates to homecoming. So stupid, so far away. <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah. Super Can you believe that I'm not taken for homecoming yet, Sid? Eh? Eh? <laughs> people like people like what, Sid? Because, you know. School spirit. <laughs> Pep, okay, that works too, that works too. You going to the game too? Yeah. Do you want to go? No, not really. Ah, uh, she's even wearing his jacket. No! He's never given this jacket to anyone before. Mm -hmm. It's sweet. Mm -hmm. I don't believe it, guys. I don't believe it. I think he's given it to everyone he slept with. Groceries and get them fucking home. Hey, power's manifesting again. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> My dad would murder me. He doesn't even know I drive that piece of shit around. Do you even have a license? How's he not know? How's he not know? Yeah, get it. She uh, doesn't have a license. I mean, he's also doesn't know how to drive either. I always ask him about it. When I was a kid, I'd ask why his truck smelled like skunk. Years later, I finally realized my dad was a stoner. Ah, fair enough. You know, that's usually what it is. Hundred men to build that piece of shit. Okay, well, it was it was probably more like five, but my great 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 granddad was one of them. Hey, that's cool. Little little town history there. Barbara Mail tends to be a shithead, so <laughs> I guess it's up to me to redeem the good old family name. Break the cycle, man. Break the cycle. He's a month. Mm. Cool. Yeah, my life is way better when he's not around. Hey, truck drivers are cool. Truck drivers are cool. Country runs on truck drivers, so good job, truck drivers. Y'all, y'all are great. Like, it doesn't bother me. Narrator. Yes, that actually did bug her. I have clients. He's a drug Shit, dealer. How many? Amazing. Four. Amazing. My cousin. Hey, gotta get that client base anywhere you can. <laughs> gotta get those clients anywhere you can, man. But he's also funny. Yeah. Seems like a pretty good dude. But he helped me out when Dina totally bailed. He does seem like a good dude. He seems like a really good dude. Mom only gave me 50 bucks. No. Uh, can you ring it up again? I think you overcharged me. No. I'm going to say she probably didn't. Stanley Barber, nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too, Stanley. Calm down, Sid. Calm down. Oh, she's about to have a blow up. She's about to have a blow up. 
The sword's about to get annihilated. Breathe. 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 Oh no. Oh no. Just Oh no! It's coming. It's coming. I actually jumped at that for some reason. Why did I jump at that? This is what I thought was gonna happen. I thought the glass was gonna break. That's, gonna be, that's, a, that's a big mess. That's a big mess to clean up. That's a big mess. Wow. I, I mean, it's, it sucks that you get them, too. Panic attacks do suck. Panic attacks really suck. They they are terrible. Why are you still talking to me? Because everyone else in this town's boring. Because <laughs> he's your friend, Sid. Because he's your friend. I just copied what he did. <laughs> I didn't even cough. Oh no. She's a smoker now. No. Hey, whatever it takes to numb it, you know? Whatever it takes to numb it. I like the soundtrack in this show, too. It's very coming-of-age story. Which is the whole thing. It's a coming-of-age story, but I like the soundtrack. Hey, do you want to go to the football game? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> and they went anyway. A lame said, "What's theater? It's live theater. Westinghouse Memorial High School on a Friday night. I mean, what could be more? Yeah, it's not not wrong. It's not wrong. But his best case scenario is what? Managing some regional insurance sales company. <laughs> to, oh, call shots on employee of the month. <laughs> not wrong. Not wrong. <laughs> this is as good as it gets for them. And I like watching them." Man, he's and not entirely wrong. Everything goes to shit in the end. Especially for a small town, he is not entirely wrong. Maybe I don't have to pretend. It's the best theater in town. <laughs> what if I actually like Stan? What if you do, Sid? What if you actually like him? Isn't that just a thought? Oh, he's looking hurt. He got up, though. He got up. Woo! He got up. Having been in marching band and having to have gone to every football game for that, yeah, those uh, those injuries, they can look real bad. Real bad. Oh my god, VHS? Yep. It's the best platform there is. That is so not true. Shitty <laughs> texture is key to the experience. And I, I can't with Laserdisc. I, oh god, don't get me started. <laughs> Good old laser disc. I only know about laser disc from regular show, and that's a little upsetting. <laughs> a little upsetting, but laser disc, come on. Would you, would you rather be an eagle or a jellyfish? Ooh, that's a good one. That's a real good one. All right. So, would you rather have superpowers? Okay. Okay. Good start. Good start. Definitely be. A shapeshifter. Hey, good power, good power. Like, go inside the girls' locker room <laughs> or anything. Crazy. Yeah, it's a creepy version of that. It's a creepy version of the but you know. That's jellyfish. There we go. Big jellyfish. Let's go. Formless, mindless. But we're gonna become like the planet of the jelly. Yep. And yeah. I will be their leader. And this is hundred percent stoner, stoner thoughts right here. Hundred percent stoner thoughts, which honestly, funniest thing. Tell me your deepest, darkest secret. Mm, or... Okay, okay, okay. It's gonna be whatever the second one is. Okay, it sounds like gonna be whatever the second one is. Tell you my secret, Stan. Okay, never mind. Not, not even going to the second one. Just secret. Not tell anyone. No one. Understand. That's usually the whole aspect of, of a deep, dark secret. That's usually the, the, the case. I got pimples on my thighs. <laughs> that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. That's just a teenage thing. No way. Okay. Watch this. Oh no, back knee. No. Back knee, no. That sucks. That's a little gross. Also, back knee sucks. That sucks. That does suck. That does oh, suck a lot. Oh, I'm there, Stanley Barber. Check. That is pretty gross. That is also pretty gross. It's brutal. 
I mean, I have never seen something so disgusting. That's pretty bad. They look, they look really scarred, to be honest. They look kind of scarred. <laughs> yeah, I saw that coming. I saw that coming. I feel a little less weird. Yeah. Yeah, saw that happening. Hey, that's the end of the episode. Okay, well, these episodes are real short. These episodes are real short. They're just like nice little tight stories, aren't they? Nice little tight stories. This is a, this is a good show. This is a real good show. Like, it really is. This is a good show. I'm disappointed Netflix for canceling after one season. I'm only two episodes in, though. But, yeah, I I do like the fact that these episodes are really short. <laughs> these are real short episodes. They just, like, get right to the point, just right into the story, and I do love the fact it's just Sid. It's just her story, and it's her telling her story. And I'm very, very intrigued to see how it gets from a nice, cozy episode like this where it's just her and just her and stan to her covered in blood running down the street how do we get there like what happens there where does that blood come from who carries you who carried you but i i just want to know so no but i'm i'm really just loving this series i'm loving the vibes man i'm really loving the vibes that's a that's a thing you can kind of like you can really get from a from a series from only a few episodes in like you can get some vibes this series has got some good vibes it comes from the music comes from the atmosphere comes from the setting the characters the vibes all fit they all just really really it and it, it just it's just something right up my alley like like i mentioned at the very top of the of the of the video here like i mentioned at the very top of the video i love coming of age stories especially ones that deal with superpowers i just love that whole concept because i think it's a good metaphor for adolescent development and for human development in a way i really love that and I love coming of age stories in general, not without superpowers, because of the idea of, of, of teenage and adolescent emotions, of how complicated and how complex they are, and how much rich storytelling you can tell with that. Because, as I mentioned in the very first episode of this, is that teenagers, we all are them at some point. Like, every single person has been a teenager at some point, and every single person has gone through something similar. They've gone through something similar to whatever's happening in this show or in any other coming of age film where it's literally just growing up, figuring out who your friends are, figuring out why they're your friends, figuring out relationships, figuring out who like love and figuring out your interest. You know, if you like your interest or not, or if you don't like just figuring yourself out, every single person alive can say that they have been through that before. And that is what I'm loving. I'm loving the fact that this show, even with superpowers, which is not really focusing on that much, is still giving us that whole concept, that whole idea of figuring yourself out and coming of age which is really cool and i'm really just loving that i'm really loving that a lot and again i like the atmosphere the atmosphere feels timeless it feels incredibly timeless given everything that we see in the series where it's like yeah if you just take out the technology aspect of it this show can be at any time period which i think fits the vibes even more and if that's not that's if that's not like a, a thing for the show then i don't know what it is if that's not, if that's not like a good summer of the show that i don't know what is just a show with some good vibes and that's what it has it has some real good vibes and i'm very excited to keep watching it very excited to like get through this and i like the fact that they're short episodes and this is a short like eight episode series just wish there were more of it just wish there were more of it i'm definitely going to wish there were more of it when i actually finish watching it but either way let me know down in the comments as well what do you think about this episode and what do you think about the series in general as well and do you are you liking this? Are you liking this at all? And what what what's your ideal vibe for a show? What what is the vibe that you look for in a show? Let me know that as in the comments as well. If you like this video as well, leave a little like as well. It definitely helps out in the almighty YouTube algorithm. And if you want to see more of these videos, be updated on everything I post, including these, including these, these reactions, reviews, or essays I'm starting to do, then leave a little subscription as well. It does help out completely free. And you join this lovely little community as well. And until next time, right over here is gonna be a playlist for some other coming of age story from Netflix. It might just be Wednesday. It probably will be. And over here is going to be a video that YouTube recommends for you as well. And until next time, just stay okay with this, people. Stay okay with this, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace, everyone. Peace.